You ready? I'm ready. I'm always ready. Are you wearing the, the right clothing for her? She really wanted to wear something I special for you. I had another outfit oh. that yeah. was I thought was more like orchestral, I guess you could say. <laughs> I don't think that's a word. <laughs> but three, that's a word. Two, oh, three, two, one. Let's start. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of It's a Hawaii Thing, Yay! the podcast. I'm Lanai, and that's Brooke Lee. Please don't get us confused. Don't. This podcast brought to you by Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. You know, Paulette and the gang, they got a brand new uh, location there on Maui. Yeah. So for those of you on Maui, make sure you go check it out. The place is amazing. HiFICU.com. Also, the Star Advertiser bringing you what matters. It's a Hawaii Thing. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full digital. access. Yes. Because that's the world that we live in. Yes. Also, Office of elections by the way we changed how people voted this year i don't know we didn't actually change we did. it we just everyone started we voting. just energized and we're it. so proud of hawaii for voting and everyone stepping up. came out uh, make yeah. sure you get your uh, mailbox ballot in if you didn't do so also want to thank city mail the good folks at city mail you need anything they have it all of it those guys are awesome yellow buckets today we have a very special guest i know i'm just like nostalgic really you're uh it's your classmate yes I'm from gonna, punahou i'm gonna give her uh, the best introduction that i possibly can i will step our aside. guest today grew up in honolulu and graduated from harvard university they never looked at my application. <laughs> she currently is con uh, conductor for the Minnesota Orchestra. She's worked with some pretty amazing orchestras uh, like the Philadelphia Orchestra, the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, San Francisco Symphony, Los Angeles, Philharmonic, Detroit, Las Vegas, uh, even big orchestras in France, Tokyo, and Korea. She's been very busy. And that's just half of her resume. Very busy. She scored some major movie films like Little Mermaid and worked with companies like Pixar. She's worked with different operas and theater groups. Hopefully I get to work with her one day. She plays the piano, the violin, and she waves a mean conductor stick. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please welcome she Sarah Hicks. Hey, everyone. Hi. How are you, Sarah? Classmate. I'm good. I'm good. Did nice you, to meet you. Did you just call it a conductor stick? What is it called? <laughs> wow. Uh, it's called a baton, but a baton. it can be like a magic wand, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Spelliarmus. Yeah. Expelliarmus. Pretty amazing. And you know, I, was, uh, I did a little homework on you. And you Stalker. know, for, Stalker. for I was in the band, and for years I thought my band teacher was a jerk. Uh, um, when I was in band, but then after I graduated, we became good friends. But I just thought he would wave the stick at us and really didn't know what he was doing. But you mm. do a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah they keep you, you guys on knowledge. Yeah. Yes, you have to know every instrument, don't you? Basically, mm -hmm. and what they're doing all the time, and, and what they're doing wrong, yeah. <laughs> and, and be able to single them out when they're wrong, and be like, mm -hmm. nope. Mm -hmm. What school? Nope. Yeah. What school did you go to? High school. Uh, Punahou. Right, you went to Punahou, yeah. and did you did you play band in high school? Play band? Actually, I played an orchestra. <laughs> I played the viola, which uh -huh. is like a it's like a big violin. Okay. Um, only the uncool kids play it, but I, you know, that was me. <laughs> yeah. And I was an orchestra from like seventh grade on through senior year, and I loved it. And that's actually where I started conducting. Nice. It was the Punahou Orchestra. My wow. Junior year. And of course, yeah. the facilities there—it's like being at the uh, L.A. Philharmonic. Uh, what a great oh. place to learn how to play instruments, huh? True. Yeah. D now, was your amazing. first instrument the violin? Viola. No, I played the, the piano. I started when I was like five. Yeah, you are like a... I like wanted you're... to be a pianist. Yeah, you were like I... ranked and like competing and like going on the circuit when you were young, weren't you? Yeah, I was super serious. I was doing competitions. Yeah. I played with the Honolulu Symphony. And then I injured my hands. It was like just overuse because I have really small hands. Uh -huh. And... Um, so I was in constant pain and couldn't really move them. And so the thought was either I had to get some, you know, PT or maybe do something. It just, it wasn't right because yeah. my hands are so small. That's and great though. I have small hands. Do you know what they say about girls with small fingers, right? Big brain? No. No, small nostrils. Because Lord. God couldn't fit them in there unless nope. they made oh, them too boy. big. Not yeah. a thing. <laughs> Not a thing. Did, did you it. know you, you wanted to conduct? Like at what age did you say, I'm going to control this stuff. I don't want to be back here. Um, it was actually when I was 17, I was all confused about my hands and I didn't know if I could play the piano. And my dad told me, Hey, stop crying. Stop being upset. You can still hold a stick. Uh -huh. So I actually started then and I conducted my first orchestra, my school orchestra in Punahou, And I was able to do it like all without even thinking about it. So I thought, okay, Maybe I can do this. Um, That's awesome. And so I kept studying throughout, you know, from 17 on until I graduated from uh, 
Curtis, my music school after Harvard. Now, when, you, work- now when you say studying, behind you, I see a bunch of spiral books. Are those... Uh, is that music sheets there? You have to yeah, study this music is, uh, sheets? Yeah, I have like four bookcases like this. They're, wow. this, you know, super high. They're 10 wow. feet tall. And that's all my music. Just pull, um, that's pull, not all of it, actually. Pull one out for us real quick. Just grab anyone. Don't even look. Sure. Just pull one out. Okay. And tell us, what, it, and tell us what, what song that is or what it, what is it? Uh, here are Britain's orchestral works. And you can <laughs> see how complicated it is. Dang. My goodness. So it's every yeah. instrument? Every instrument, every instrument yeah, in from the, the flute orchestra. to the yeah. to the bass, all the way down. Uh huh. Has all of the information. So, do you write too? Like when you get to the space where you're at, where you're conducting other people, do you have you like transcended to the other realm? Like, do you start to write <laughs> stuff now and be like, "This is what I want to," you know, "I want to sort of make the music as well as conduct the music." Or yeah, actually, I got a composition degree at Harvard, so I was writing music back then, mm. but. Like, I'm pretty good at writing music, but yeah. I'm really good at conducting. Ah, so, like, yeah. you know, you chose, make a choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I still do some arranging. If there's, like, a, a song or something that's not arranged for orchestra, I'll, you know, set it to all these instruments. But right. that, that's pretty much it. So Lanai yeah. is going to ask you to write him a tuba, like, solo. <laughs> I want a solo. Okay. When you, no, when you come to Honolulu again and you do something like a guest thing, I'd love to just do, like, a little th- something with a tuba. Because I thought I read, yeah, yeah. I read somewhere. Guest didn't appearance. you start? Didn't you start the youth symphony here? Like, because they didn't have when you first got out of school. I thought I had read that you had sort of mm, did an mm, outreach program. That wasn't me. Oh, that wasn't you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah, just understand. The... She reads a lot of stuff on I the Google internet that doesn't. A lot of things yeah. that are not. Oh, that I doesn't bet. match. Yeah. 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 She sets me up for this kind and of then, stuff. And then he tells me, do you know how many Sarah Hicks there are in the planet? He's like, I Googled Sarah Hicks. And I thought, oh, there can't so be funny. that many Sarah Hicks. I wanted to see what you you looked like. So I Googled it, you know, to get an image. But uh, don't go anywhere. We've got to take a quick break. Uh, we're talking story with, with Sarah Hicks, the talented Sarah Hicks. This show brought to you by Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Paulette and her people are there for all your money needs and life. Kahului. Yes, they have a, a new uh, place that you can go if you live on Maui. Yes. And you know what the cool thing is? You can be anything. You just have to be a human being to open an account. Because before, you had to have, you have to be like a working. Member? Yeah, a member or okay. whatever. I so see. you can be part of the gang now oh, just by okay. walking in and Hawaii. showing your ID. <laughs> I also want to thank the Star Advertiser, bringing you what matters. It's a Hawaii thing. Viewers can now receive the Star Advertiser's digital full access subscription. It's right. only nine ninety five a month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com. There's a code. You need to give them the code. What's the th- What's the code? I think it's A H I thing. There you go. A Hawaii thing. Oh, a Hawaii thing. I yeah, get it good job. Duh. We also got to thank the Office of Elections. Hawaii votes by mail. You folks did a great job. Gold in the Star Hawaii. Hey. Gold Star for turning it on. My in. gosh, and I think we had a lot to do with that. People had to get to their mailboxes, and boy, did they show up. Yes, and I, I think everyone wants some change, and you guys did a good job showing up. Yeah. And just and sit back and grumble. Go to. Uh, <laughs> Hawaii.gov, 453-VOTE. <laughs> when I say uh, mahalo to City Mail, you need something? Try check, check City Mail. Yes, they have everything. Uh, you want to do this? They got paint. Oh, nails. Gardening supplies. Not batons. Rakes. But we should make sure they have batons they going They have rakes and hose. They and have mango pickers. All those things. So go yeah. check out City Mail. It's a local thing. Sarah, thanks for joining yes. us today. Do you miss home? I do. Yes. Yeah. It's. I mean, if there's nothing like growing up on the islands, and sometimes I'll be like somewhere really cold, like Minnesota, and just dreaming about like being on the beach and. Is this like, the not longest? Is this all the, these clothes? Is this yeah. the longest you've been not able to come back to Hawaii, or is this the longest stretch you've gone without being back in the islands? Yeah, I actually was there at the end of February to mm. help my mom sell her house and move. Yeah. And we got that all taken care of before all this wow, happened. Lucky. Oh, good. Uh, right. So we're so lucky. But yeah, th- I mean, I'm usually there at least twice a year. So this has been a long time. So how do you split away. your time? Uh, you know, like last year, how much are you in San Francisco and how much are you in Minnesota? Uh, so Minnesota is maybe, uh, gosh, 20% of what I do. Most of what I do is just traveling around the world with different orchestras. So uh-huh. I was on the road last year, 35 weeks wow. um, out of the year. And then, yeah, then I'm home the other time. Cause I read, I read Hawaii. some of your blogs and like when the pandemic hit, like it wiped out, like your schedule, like you were supposed to be like everywhere. And then, Oh my God, Brooke, it was like, it was so devastating yeah. because like day after day I was supposed to be, uh, some, I was supposed to be in Germany and then I was supposed to be in London right. and then 
somewhere else and like week by week all this stuff just, it was just closing down closing so, down so yeah closing it down. was it gave you a it was reset devastating. i think right. it gave you, it gave all of us a reset for sure I don't know about uh, reset. Yeah. traveling traveling takes its toll on your body i travel a lot too so i think i needed it you know yeah. for sure so tell us a little bit about uh when you put together a composition or something like that folder you just seen mm -hmm. where do you start do you start with the base the what do you do so it's a it's a long process, but in a nutshell. So I try to go through everyone's lines like one at a time to see what they're doing. And then I have to see how they line up together. And then I'm not just looking at what notes they're playing, but how loud, how fast, how short, how long. And then I look at the overall harmonies and then like what it feels like. And then, it, I mean, that takes hours and hours. I always yeah. tell people if you're playing a piece that's, 40 minutes long, you've probably spent 20 hours learning it. I'm sure. So all your work is done before you show up and conduct the orchestra. And then do all the orchestras that you deal with, like globally, let's not even go like just for the States, does everybody mm -hmm. have their own flavor? Like when you go there, do you know like, oh, the Germans, this is going to be a thing with the Germans. And then you like yeah. go to Japan, you're like, they're always like a little bit on this beat as opposed to like, I have to, you have to like, <laughs> yeah, you have sure. to tailor your, your proclivities to the cultural place that you're at. It's not even just cultural. It's literally every orchestra has its own personality mm. and just the way the, the wind players play or how, with the sound of the string players or yeah. how loud the brass players are, even just individually what they're like as people as an ensemble. Ah. Do they have a really good sense of humor? Are they super serious? Yeah. Like every orchestra is different. Why, so. is, why is music, and, and especially in, in this genre, why is everything in Italian? What? That's a good question. That was just like the lingua franca, like what they started with, so everyone could understand what everything meant, you know? So Were they it's the like first? All... Huh? Were they the first? What? Is that why it's Italian? It they... did come from Italy, a lot of the right. earlier music. Yeah. They yeah. were like but the that's OG. That's a good question. Thank you. I try to come up with good <laughs> questions for the show sometimes. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a music background it's a little bit. It's the tuba playing. Yeah, but I'm not oh, good right, at it. Right, I was right. never like, my dad was a concert pianist and he did, gave us piano lessons, but oh. I never, I wish I could, I wish I stayed with it. I really wish yeah, I stayed with yeah. it. Well, now um, you have time. I don't have time. I have less time. But um, <laughs> you're, in, you're in lockdown. You could yeah, go home and if play. Somebody, if somebody really wants to get into it, it, don't you think piano would be the first instrument to learn? Yeah, that's probably the easiest to learn because uh -huh. you're pressing buttons, basically. Mm. So, you know, and you can play the melody and the harmony. I think that's a great place to start. Yeah. Yeah. What do you li what do you like to what do you like to listen to besides this genre of music? I do not listen to this genre of music. Oh, because, really? That's, yeah, that's good it, to this hear. This is work for me. Yeah, so yeah. I don't want to listen to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. cool. That, I never thought of that. She's like, you like hip hop? She's like death metal. You like, you like <laughs> Two Life Crew? Like stuff like that? Yeah, well, you know, Cardi B. And, you know, Cardi B? Uh, no, and I like, you know, Taylor Swift and uh -huh. all that stuff. And I like, I don't know, Imagine Dragons. We're 80s and Tom kids. And no, it's, so... it's kind of a cool. Have you ever done like an 80s show with an orchestra? I have, yeah. yeah. I actually produced an 80s show with, you know, like Cindy Lauper and Oh, Brian that Lauper would be cool. And Welcome to the Jungle. And see, yeah. I'd love to see that. Nice. Yes. What yeah. Have you done hip hop? Uh, I actually uh, did an album with a hip hop artist yes. uh, named Dessa. Yes. Um, so we recorded that with the Minnesota Orchestra last last March, and it dropped on November 9th. Look, she even said so, it dropped on November 9th. See? How, how did yeah. you, how did you uh, what was the feedback you got on this? Uh, people loved it. It's like bringing two worlds together, yeah. and uh, Dessa was such a collaborative. She's like a big uh, artist, like, and it was yes. really cool. Dessa, yeah. yeah. No, uh, Brooke's trying to be cool now. No, like hip. I know the name. <laughs> I don't know anything she sings, but I know the name. Well, you know, uh, Russell Simmons and Run DMC really started that collaboration thing with rock mm -hmm. music and, True. Uh, you know, putting together hip hop. So I, I think that's cool that you, the people, are, hip hop artists in general are starting to add a lot of strings to their stuff. Yeah, right? exactly. You know, what? Exactly. when you come home, I think no one has done this yet. And I correct He's me if I'm collab. wrong. He wants you, to collab. No, no one has really done with an island with the island reggae groups. Like I, I'm friends with Fiji. Uh, and I used to tell Fiji all the time, Fiji's you should get the though. orchestra behind you and do yeah. all your songs that way. Oh. Where do you live in San yeah, Francisco? Okay. Where do you live there? Uh, like in the middle of the city, Low you're... Pacific Heights. Oh, okay. Oh, you're in the nice part of town. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I always yeah. stay by Union Square. I'm there like every three months. We got to hook up. <laughs> Yeah, I'd definitely. Yeah, I'd love to learn how to play uh, chopsticks with you or something. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Just two fingers, two fingers. Yeah, before we, before we took the break, we were talking about 
uh, local artists and how we can collaborate with what you do. And we, I, you know, I mentioned Fiji. Um, I was thinking about it during the break. I think Amy might have done it, but that was more traditional Hawaiian music. Mm-hmm. Oh, you mean like on stage with like the Honolulu Orchestra? Yeah, with the Honolulu Orchestra. They do orchestra. pops. Yeah, they've done right. stuff with Naleo Pilimehana, the local. Yes, more stuff Hawaiian here. though, right? But yeah, it's standard. It's usually like standard yeah. pops, and mm-hmm. then they'll throw in like you know Pua Olana or something. Right, right. But like what you're talking about is different. Island reggae. Like, who did you listen to growing up on the island reggae side? Gosh, I'm trying to think back. I feel like, like just we, name the songs. Do you I know any like of the we songs? Were pre- you reggae in the 80s. Well, no, there was Brother kinda. Nolan, right? Brother oh, Nolan. Yeah. He's yeah, kind of started yeah, the movement. Yeah. Capenna then, was big yeah. when we Kapenna, were. That's right. Hoi Kani. Yeah. So those types yeah. of groups. Hoi was big when we were. I could really see them doing some with, with the Capenna family. That's true. Kelly Boy and then the whole family. Right. Have you up, have you updated yourself on the island music scene? I haven't at all because I've not really been back for more than like a week at a time mm-hmm. for uh-huh. the past 10 years, 15 years. Okay. So I really should because yeah, that would yeah. be interesting. When you come home, um, there was a re- uh, interesting t- st- statistic, and I think it was in USA Today about two or three years ago. Hawaii had the most local album sales in America next to Nashville. I don't doubt that. Yes. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. Because of all yeah. the expatriate like yes. Hawaii people that are and, spread abroad. And people like KMEL in San Francisco, which is a hip-hop R&B station, is playing Fiji and j oh, wow. and those really? types of stuff. San Diego, Las Vegas, big major radio stations are playing it. So I think it's an untapped territory. Because oh, it sort of falls into that sort of ska, like 311 genre yeah. type of like, reggae you know, island feel. You know, music. the Marleys have right. crossed over too into right, pop. Right, 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 right. Something to think about. Look yeah, at him collabing. Look at you, <laughs> Timberland. All right. What what uh, what food do you miss from Hawaii? Like when you're what when you get homesick, like I gotta like go eat. Like my mom's cooking is what yeah. I miss. You yeah. know, like all that amazing yeah. Japanese cooking, yeah. and like we had all these Korean friends who made like the best japchae mm. and kimchi, and I just like I miss everything. You know, just like the mix of cuisines too. Right. Yeah. Um, just it's just amazing there that yeah. you can't find anywhere else in the world. You can't. You can't. What nationality are you? Uh, my mom is Japanese and my dad was a Howley. So you and, Hapa. Yeah, I'm Hapa. <laughs> yeah. Hapa up. all the way. Nice. Do you do you <laughs> claim Hawaii when like when they introduce you, do they say from Hawaii? Or do they say San San Francisco? I, I feel like I'm not from anywhere because I mm. lived in eight different cities. You got to claim um, Hawaii, girl. But I should claim Hawaii. <laughs> yes, claim I, I, that, Hawaii. That's my home. I say like that's my hometown is Honolulu. Right. I think you, you should know. every time you do a show, wear a lay. <laughs> what? And just claim Hawaii. <laughs> Where am I gonna get a lay? <laughs> you can get them every everywhere now, and we'll mail them to you. But I think oh, it really right. brings this warm feeling. Like when I go to do stuff, when I travel a lot and do speakings, I'll wear a lay. People mm. come up to you and just go, they want to hug you. Oh, because of the flowers. And and they have a connection to Hawaii. Either they uh, went on their honeymoon, or right. they celebrated, and they've had this vibe to Hawaii. Yeah, right? yeah. And, and you're doing such great things for to represent Hawaii. Aww. Yeah. An oh. ambassador. If you don't wear a lamb, I'm gonna send you a puka show. <laughs> don't. We're, I'll, we're, I'll take it. <laughs> You know, yes. Punahou has been pumping out some celebrities, boy. Some talented people like yourself, Carissa Moore. The uh, president. The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the president. Yeah, the, a lot of different people. The past president. Let's not get confused. Yeah, don't, don't get that confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sarah, you've been working with a lot of, uh, we've been talking about all these different countries and orchestras, um, mm-hmm. but one of the cool things I think you've been doing is working with Disney and Pixar. Yeah, I was binge watching because, you know, we're in quarantine. And Coco. Yeah because my kids are obsessed. And so then I decided to go down a rabbit hole and I'm like, oh, there's a Coco Live special. And then like up pops Benjamin Bratt because he's hot. And I'm like, (laughs) I know that girl behind him. (laughs) That's my classmate. And I'm like pausing it and I'm like making the screen bigger. I'm like, that's my classmate. That's classic. It blew my mind. What are you doing with them? Uh, I do a lot. They do a lot of these uh, live to concert things, which means you show the film and you play the soundtrack with a live That's orchestra, so which is really exciting. So we did that project uh, with Coco with live singers, too, at the Hollywood Bowl. I travel around the world doing a lot of Disney movies, Pixar movies. Um, and this past September, if you remember, I think it was November, there was on ABC a live Little Mermaid yes. with Ali'i. Yes. You were the, doing yeah. the one with so Ali'i? I did all the, Orchestration. the soundtrack, the orchestra stuff. Wow. We pre recorded that uh, in September. With so Ali'i Carvalho. She's here. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
That is, I want to go to. I want to go to one of these things. The live. I, I've never. Have you been to one? I've never been to one of those. I mean, I got chicken skin just thinking about it. I love live music in general. I mean, they I do them at the does. Hollywood Bowl quite a bit because they'll do like live sing-alongs to like Sound of Music, and people will dress mm-hmm. up and they do it every Halloween to like, yeah. you know, all of the Halloween stuff. So. The, the timing has to be just perfect, doesn't it? They just it? don't have that kind of stuff here in Hawaii. They no. really need to jump on that yeah. bandwagon. And They've do done it. some at the symphony, I think. Oh, yeah. they have? Like, like oh, like they Harry play it to Potter Harry Potter. And... That's right. Yeah. Have yeah. you have you done Henny here with the, mu- uh, with the movie? I'm trying to think. No, the last time I was there, I did some Christmas stuff. But no, it wasn't movie stuff. So, yeah. Not in not in Hawaii. Yeah. All right. Now, yeah. I, I, this is this is going to be kind of a personal question. You don't have to, You can just give us a ballpark <laughs> answer. Dun, dun, dun. Because I think a lot of people want to know, um, you know, because the arts is, is uh, obviously it's dying in schools. And I've been a big part of trying to keep the arts going. Right. And this is not cheap to do. You know, instruments, mm-hmm. maintaining and all that. When you first started being a conductor to what you're doing on a Disney project, mm-hmm. what's the difference in level and pay? Like, is it extremely different is you know do you, how do you get kids excited to get make this a career that's a good question i mean I, I think arts in schools is not so much about making it a career as to like learning basic life skills yeah. um learning how to have some self-discipline how to work with others and to collaborate and make something amazing that you couldn't do by yourself right um and i think that's the importance of music and in, in the arts is to find the creative outlet and I think it makes you a better citizen of earth yeah. even if you don't want to be a musician you know yeah. I think that's why arts and schools is is really really important so um, don't worry about the money kids it's the passion yeah it's a passion <laughs> well, and, it, and it bleeds into other fields like if you're in of they course. say that you get better in math if you're able to yeah. do you know timing and you know it helps with all kinds of other it didn't help me skills. in math anyway but I understand what you're saying <laughs> totally I'm, I'm Asian too I'm terrible at math yeah. What, what is it that you want, Sarah, what is it that you want to do that you haven't done yet? That's a good question. I want to keep working on um, live to film projects. I'm sort of going into production a little bit more to create those, those concerts and scoring, projects. And maybe, scoring movies? Yeah, and like it? maybe doing more programming. And it's, it's really going forward with what I'm already doing and seeing if I could be more. Because I've been on the performing side but I want to be on the creation side more. Yeah. Right? It's like an actor wanting to be a director. Right. How did Disney I happen mean, for you? Like, how did the, you do people send in tapes? Were they like, uh, were they casting conductors like across the country? Like, how did that connection happen for you? Uh, I just do so much of this, the movie stuff. And I actually, there was a concert called Pixar in Concert where yes. it was like little bits of Pixar movies yes. with music. And that was premiered in 2012. Mm-hmm. And I just happened to be the person who premiered it? My, you know, uh, there's a bunch of Filipino kids. Bobby Rubio is one of them who uh, does all the Toy Story animation, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. people don't even realize there's like four Filipino, maybe five <laughs> Filipino guys drawing that do everything. It. But we got That's so, so cool. much more to talk to you about. If you want to get the full live cast, you just got to go to our YouTube channel, yes. uh, Apple TV, or Spotify. Sarah, thank you so much for joining thanks us. Thanks for coming today. on, classmate. Oh, thanks for having me. It's we, good to see you. We have a special <laughs> gift for you from oh, Enjoy.com. Yeah. If you need any snacks and you're homesick, we're sending you all your homesick. Um, needs oh thank you yeah <laughs> all I'm of so the, excited all of the japanese crackers are in here and the gummies and the lehing all of it's in here so. sarah hicks ladies and gentlemen thank you so much go check out the full Thanks podcast right on. after this brought to you by hawaiian financial federal credit union also the star advertiser office of elections city, city mill. mill and mana up mana oh. it's a hawaii thing Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Sarah is hanging out with us. Um, you, what, what is that one, that one snack that you like? You salivate for, and you're like, I need to get that snack from Hawaii. Lehing moi. Mm, Lehing moi. Yeah. Which one? Yeah. Salty, sweet, red. What? I like the red. Yeah. I like. I crave that, and you can't really find it. No. You know, like in an airport in Chicago. You know, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're yeah. gonna send you some. You're gonna have to be like Beyonce, where she has like a hot sauce in her bag. You're gonna have like a leehing thing in your bag. <laughs> you, you know what? You, totally. <laughs> you, you need to get one of these jars for your your. Put it in oh, your put it in your rider. Yeah. Put it in your rider. I totally need that in my rider. And yeah. have yeah. red lehing moi in it so all the while. Yeah. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. 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 Totally, awesome. totally. Besides the food, what do you miss about Hawaii? I miss the beaches. I miss like the, it's just like Hawaii time and like the laid back sense. I, I miss the sense of Ohana there where like yeah. people like really want to help each other and think as a larger community. And 
that's not always what you have in the rest of the world. And I, yeah. I really miss that feeling. What's your, what's your favorite place that you've traveled so far? Like you, oh, gosh, you can't look forward to place. going back. So many, so many. It's I mean, hard to it pick. depends. I like, I love being in Asia and Tokyo is amazing. Love Japan Tokyo. Is great. Yes. It's an amazing city. Seoul is an amazing city. I yeah. love Australia because those guys are so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and they just know how to have a good time. You know, I love being in Copenhagen and Denmark because the food is oh, so good. Oh, yes. Food is good in Denmark. So, nice. so, yeah, everywhere. There's, yeah. there's great things to do and eat and people to see everywhere. Does Sarah Hicks have groupies? Yes. I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she does. Yeah. Just, yeah. Correct me if I I'm wrong, a, but there aren't a lot of women conductor people like women you. Women conductor people? Like you? <laughs> like that look like you, I'm saying. Uh, you're beautiful too, but so like, I'm sure you get I mean, a, I see yeah. you and I like Google your pictures or whatever and like, you're not just like in a dress with like the conductor thing with like a tie. Like you get into your fashion. Yeah, and like I, you, oh, yeah. that's why like I asked. That's, your, that's why I that's asked. That's your jam. Like, I've seen some of your photos and I'm thinking most of the conductors that I've met I mean, not to objectify ugly, you, but you're, <laughs> you look rather hot oh, in thanks. some of your outfits. And like you really like you from the back and it's uh -huh. like you're really like you're the Beyonce of like the orchestral Conducting, yeah. world, I would, I would you say. You know, it's good to have a little style. Right. And I just like to, I don't like to wear a jacket because it's heavy on your arms yeah. right so i like to go sleeveless and have my hair down i like my heels so i wear my heels as i'll do that as long as i can yeah. until i get too old to wear heels and you know <laughs> you just got to do your thing it's fun being a girl and i want to i dress like make sure you get the lay okay just start wearing yeah, a lay when you, lay. Exactly, you can put that exactly. in it doesn't have to be a big one you know not a carnation yeah lay. you're not just, like ariyoshi no no yeah. just just something sweet that goes with like your a yeah, yeah, like a, like a little with choker, your fit. like a little choker. It'd be hard to find that in Copenhagen, but I guess you put it in your yeah. rider <laughs> next no, to you, the ESO peanuts. Uh, you can have them mailed to you now by plane. I know it's a little pricey, but just put it in the rider and put it in the rider. Because yeah, mm -hmm. when I do like West Coast stuff, and I've done a, uh, I did. Uh, this is a funny story. I did uh, Good Morning, um, Good Morning America mm -hmm. in New York, and I ordered a hundred plumeria lays. Good luck Whoa. getting that yes. to New York. No, 100. I got them all in a cooler on Hawaiian Airlines. And not they, dead? they hooked me up. Nope, not wow. dead. The day before I got them, and I gave the whole staff, I mean, the camera guys, the sound oh, guys, wow. and they were so blown away. When we were done shooting the, the, the segment, the whole staff came out to take a picture, Aww. and the director said, this has never happened. <laughs> we Aww. don't know who any of these people are. <laughs> Because you had like prop people and they, right. you know what I mean? They didn't know who they were because they don't pay attention to them. I said, that's what Hawaii does. We take uh, care of everybody. You're an ambassador of love. But so so is Sarah. So you, I think you should bring a, bring a lay on set He's going to find you a lay sponsor is what's going to happen yes. next. Yes. I want one. I take one in a heartbeat. Yeah. I'm going to find you one for sure. And then <laughs> okay. you're going to have to like at the end hold up a sign. Brought to you by <laughs> Auntie Lulu's in <laughs> Chinatown. <laughs> <laughs> Lay sponsored by who who have you worked with that uh sang like any I know you we talked about the hip hop artist but mm -hmm. who who did you work with that you were just blown away with as a singer? Uh well I went on tour with Sting. Um, <gasps> Girl! And wow. He's an amazing singer, I would yes. say an amazing guy. Just amazing yes. a human so being. I spent two months on the road with him for his Symphonicities tour. Wow. wow. That was quite an experience. Girl. It's pretty amazing. How is he? How how did he how did he treat you? Oh, he's just like the gentlest, kindest. He and like, his wife, they're both generous. are just like, like crazy you nice know, people. Some artists, you see them on stage and they're amazing and they get off stage and they're not so amazing. Right. Yeah. But he's whatever you like see that. on stage, that like sincere, wonderful person. That's what he is in real life. So I love him. I'm, I'm a sincere, wonderful person off stage, too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The whole world. You know stage me the of. best. Why would you, the, you throw me on the bus a lot lately? You're never off stage. The world's your stage, though. That's true. So, so it, you also worked with, correct me if if I'm wrong, Smokey Robinson. I have. Yeah, how was he? Because I like him. Oh, I love Smokey. He's yeah. just like he's been doing this for so long, and right. he can just still hit everything. Just an amazing, amazing singer, and just lovely to work with. Yeah. It, it, Does yeah. Benjamin Bratt smell good? <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like I met him once, and he smelled really good. Are you good. a sniffer? I'm not. I am because I, I I smell everybody. Like I have a really strong nose. Uh, funny you ask mm. that. But like, does he smell good? He's just yummy. He does smell good. He does he's smell just good? yummy. Yeah. He's yummy. What do I smell like? 
detergent uh, like adobo and <laughs> like adobo and adobo. dreams <laughs> Ad- Ad- oh, I, do. I guess dreams is good and adobo makes your mouth clinch so i guess that's good <laughs> by the way you got beautiful teeth you He's need to do a crest so commercial i'm obsessed with teeth i'm obsessed with really teeth. yeah you I love teeth. and christy yamaguchi now both have the distinction yeah. of him do you know christy yamaguchi stalking your teeth i know of her of course you guys I've live near her, each other we gotta hook you guys up because you should do yeah. like something fig when she skates you should be doing <laughs> playing the I violin or something skating and this is this. And yes. skating and like that could be a thing <laughs> i you know i really want i was i meant to ask christy this he's like tom moffat there on should the be inside. like a on ice hawaii like they do all hawaiian songs They've on done that. ice yeah, yeah, yeah. no but with sarah and the orchestra oh okay wouldn't that be cool? That would be like a spectacular, spectacular, you know? Yes. And he'll get yeah. the Office of Elections to pay for it. <laughs> That's a good idea. With, with right. special guest, Lanai on the tuba. <laughs> <laughs> with, his, <laughs> with his solo that Sarah wrote distinctly uh, yeah, for him. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, where did you hang out when you were going to high school here in Honolulu? Where did I hang out? What was your beach? Um, there Where'd used you to go? be this coffee shop in Manoa. I don't know if it's still there. I can't remember what it was called, but we would like sneak out off of campus. <gasps> and, Sarah! Like, you know, go Sarah. drink coffee because that was so cool and adult, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just did school. That's one of the school. things that we did that I remember. Was that the, uh, that's the one where, uh, well, now it's a Starbucks. It used to be another, right? On the corner there, right when you hit the Manoa and then uh, Safeway's on the right-hand side. No, it was like farther back in that complex. Oh, farther back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys went deep. What about beaches? Where was your beach? Where was my beach? Uh, I mean, I grew up on Kailua side, so Kailua was You're my a beach windward for a long time. Girl. Um, where else did we go? Waimanalo. I loved Waimanalo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then Bellows. We went to Bellows yeah, a lot. Yeah, Bellows is nice. Yeah. yeah. Bellows was popping in the 80s. Yeah. It was popping in the 80s. Do you keep, you keep in touch with a lot of your classmates or no? Mm-hmm. I do with a bunch of them, yeah. There's yeah. some on the West Coast. There's some still at home. Um, yeah. Do yeah, you guys I get do. together and have little barbecues? Homesick barbecues? I'm never in the same place long yeah, enough no. to oh, do really? stuff with people. Yeah, yeah it's kind of the sad. The reason I, I ask that is because in Minnesota... I did a show and we filmed in Minnesota. There was a group called the Frozen Ohana. Have you heard of them? No. <laughs> you, I'm going to hook you up with them. These, yeah, this I group want to. is amazing. There's about 3,000 transplants from like Hawaii. All expatriate Hawaii that people. That live mm-hmm. there. And what happened was this guy, Matt, who really cool guy, he was homesick and he wanted to like touch base with other, other Hawaiians. People. So he put a barbecue yeah. together. And on Facebook, he's like, Is anybody from Hawaii? They want a barbecue? In Minnesota. Now 3,000 people wow. are there. And they That's do it amazing. every summer. They have a luau. And they. Oh, I love it. Yes. I love and it's it. just. Everybody comes together and it's like, where all these Hawaiians came from? Yeah. You know? So when they did the food truck and they yeah. went through there, they all showed up like out of. Uh, the yeah. Well, I did a group, uh, the great food truck race for the Food Network and we needed. I didn't know anybody in, in St. Paul or yeah. Minnesota. So Brooke was helping me and she was like, call Miss Minnesota. I think you called Miss Minnesota, didn't you? I probably did. Yeah. And then from Miss Minnesota, we went on the Facebook page and there was the frozen Ohana. And ah. we showed up to open our truck, and there, I'm not exaggerating, was like there was like 800 people yeah, waiting crazy. in line. And there was wow. ukulele player, what g- girl was dancing hula, <laughs> and they had I love tents it. like we were at Aloha Stadium. <laughs> it was, I'm not exaggerating, it was 50 degrees, yeah. raining, yeah. and they still showed up. So crazy. That's and warm for Minnesota. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I that's guess so. Yeah, that's yeah, a spring that's day. Yeah, that's like summer. That's like shorts. Did you guys do spam in that one? Was it yes. spam in Minnesota? Yeah, so, the, so if they you lost go to, their minds. Yeah, we, if you go to the uh, spam museum in Minnesota, me and my brother's picture is at the entrance. <laughs> oh, there. really? Yeah, we did a deal that's with a spam. That's a distinction. We for were sure. the um, uh, spokespersons for spam for like three Aww. years. Yeah. That's anyway, so cool. um, you, I'm going to set you up with them. Because I think okay. you, when you're in Minnesota, you should go check out. You guys are going to be besties now because he's literally in San Francisco like every five seconds. Yeah, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to call you. Always no, there. I'm so excited. You. Yeah. I want to go to your And events. he does yeah. a lot of food culinary stuff. So I know that's your jam. So you yeah. guys will be able to like. Yes. Do you eat anywhere local food in San Francisco? Uh, I do. I'm trying to think. I mean, not in the last five yeah. months. Well, of course. You know? Of course. But this is this. Uber you, Eats. You have to go to Liho Liho Yacht Club. Oh, yeah. You know, you can never get a reservation. I'll get you a reservation. It's crazy. You you got a direct line now. You got a direct line now. Yeah, the the chef, the guy is such a nice guy. He's from Kaneohe. Of course he is. No Um, kidding. Yeah, and if you look, when you walk in the bar, that big mural of the Hawaiian lady. 
Mm-hmm. That's his mother. Where is this in? in oh, it's, wow. it's like three blocks from Union Square. I think oh, it's wow. on mm-hmm. Post, maybe. <laughs> Might be on Post Street. That's some I good real estate. So, yeah. yeah. And then <laughs> it just closed, but um, in the dog patch, there was Ina. Have you ever read it, Ina? They like closed yes. for good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or, they closed oh. for good. He moved. Oh, he moved. Yeah. Uh, it, it was really good. Um, but there's some good local spots there. I also want to hook you up with Chef Eric Pasquale. He's uh, ties to Hawaii and he does a lot of. Pop-up oh, you do dinners. the pop ups with him. Yeah. All the time. Oh, um, nice. Yeah. yeah. So San Francisco is known for their cool pop up dinners. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's so a great scene. You have to go check the, one of those out. He's always there doing pop ups. Like yeah, always. I try to. All right. What's your What's your team? What is, What is your sports team? Your basketball, What's football. What's my sports team? Yeah. Um, this is gonna sound weird, but Uh-oh. it's the Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> That's way out of uh, why you must have known somebody. Or... So I went to um, after Harvard. I went to conservatory in Philadelphia. That's where I met my husband, a okay. um, Philly boy, and he's like an Eagles fan yeah, all the way. Yeah, oh. like be. it doesn't matter where right. we live. So he, he knows Rich Miano. Life. You know Rich, Rich Miano from Hawaii. He yeah, played yeah, for yeah. the Eagles for a long oh, time. I yeah. did not know yeah. that. Yeah. Our, our director was getting excited at first because he's a 49er He's a 49er, fan. yeah. yeah. Oh. And you're in San Francisco, yeah, and he so thought, you sort know. of de rigueur, Sorry. but yeah. 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 It's okay. You, it's marriage. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> yeah, you got to, you know, support the <laughs> husband, right? You got to do what right? you yeah. got to do. <laughs> do, you, do you ever go back to Punahou High School when you're home? No, I haven't been on campus since um, I was Sarah. there for like, our 10th anniversary and that's the last time yeah we've wow been on we just had our 30th last year you guys need to go back and visit i try to go back to my high school as much as i can the yeah. teachers really appreciate it yeah when you go back and you just scold the kids you know a little bit <laughs> really <laughs> yeah okay you got to do it all right sarah are you on social media of course i am yeah what is your uh, uh what's your handles I am sarah hicks conductor on okay. uh Insta thanks thanks and for following sarah me hicks conductor Facebook and I am on Twitter. I'm Chef Dork. Really? Really? Are you a yeah. chef? Do you cook? Mm-hmm. No, it's actually the French name for conductor, <laughs> Chef Dorchestra. <laughs> That's so. Hilarious. Is it really? Yeah. Do you cook yeah. it all though? Can you I cook? I do cook. Yeah. Because I have a cooking show. I'd love to have you on. You do? Ooh. Yeah. Like really, you're just stealing my friends. I know. Okay. It, it, well, she steals mine. I, I do. Yeah, I was yeah, good friends know, with a couple both guys. Ways, yeah. Right? Um, yeah. It airs in San Francisco on the Lifestyle Network or Direct TV. Oh, cooking really? Hawaii yeah, style. Yeah, cooking. Brooke was on. Finally. Yeah, she cooked like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a grilled cheese. <laughs> I did not. Wait, your Instagram that. is like Sarah Hicks. Sarah Hicks conductor. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna follow you. You have to follow so me. So, is there a male female version of maest? Is it maestro and maestra, or is it just maestra? Yeah. Maestra. I mean, that's official, but I don't think anyone calls me that. A maestra. That's just weird. Maestra. It's weird. Yeah. It's like Smurfette yeah. versus the Smurf kind of a thing. <laughs> yeah. Is yes. it? A, is it a competitive world? Are you in a competitive oh my God. world? It's gotta be. It's insane. Cause okay, if you think that let's say there's a hundred orchestras in the country, right? then each orchestra has 40 violins, right? Mm. That's 4,000, did I count right? Yes. Yeah, 4,000 spots. There's only one conductor, right? Right. right? So it's just 100 conductors. So it's super competitive. You guys talk shit um, about each other? <laughs> yeah, they're no, like, they're like, it's they're a like, small world. They're like Biggie and Tupac. Yeah, it's East no, Coast, it's West Coast. It's a small world, oh, yeah. Because yeah. it'll get back to you. So I always yeah. say, never say anything it's bad about anybody. It's because you're from Hawaii and you have yeah. the Aloha spirit in your heart. That's so. right. Are That's you right friends back. with most of the the famous conductors? Did you I just know a lot of them, go but like this? Again, yeah, like you I said did. famous. I, well, you're never in the same city. Oh. Like you're never in the same city because you're always conducting an orchestra. And so there can only be. They don't need and there can only be one. So That's true. It's like yeah. Highlander. Let's well, I don't know. Maybe you have a Facebook group, conductors <laughs> Facebook group. You know, like a knitting circle. <laughs> yeah. like you guys do during the off time <laughs> with our batons. Yes. <laughs> Two batons and. Do you, Do yeah. you use the same baton everywhere you go? Are you like a you know. Good luck is it like your any? Harry Potter like wand yeah. type no, of No, I got three or four, and I usually break one uh, every oh, really? year, so I gotta replace it. They're like fifty bucks; they're not cheap. You know, oh, I was gonna ask it. you to sign one for me, and for, I was gonna frame it and put it in here, but why don't you go have one made? For I her? could do that if like, I make one and send it to out you. Out of sign a koa it? tree I'll that's totally been like up on the side of yeah. the cliffs of the pulley for the last. There you go. All right. Go we'll get we'll one do made. That. Okay. We'll do that. Sarah, do you have any nice. questions for us? We always do the podcast. We're going to start doing this new thing where oh, the guest gets to ask us each one question. Oh, I didn't know this. Do you have any questions oh. for Brooke? Like, do you still date that guy that was in high school? Or <laughs> why did you date that guy at we Puna weren't, Hole? We weren't those people. <laughs> wow. You yeah. got to think of one question for us each. Okay, I'm thinking. I'm Take thinking. your time. 
as he drinks uh, from his Liliha cup. Liliha Bakery. Look have at you, him have, throwing down have his Liliha. Have you been here since course, last time you came? Like he's just oh throwing gosh. down. I'm like, there like yeah. three days a week. So mean. She hasn't been home in a while. Like, why you got to rub it in? I know. For <laughs> so long. I love You might Cocoa as well just be eating pancakes. the Cocoa Puffs in her face while you're doing that. It's like, what? Go ahead. Any question. What's okay, that? Okay. What, wait, wait, before you ask the question, what's that CD right behind the right behind Why you over your you right so shoulder? Why are you so LA, right? What's that, over my that right CD, shoulder. Yeah, what CD is that? This one? Yeah, I'm curious. She it's has, uh, Brahms Symphony Number no. 1 with the Vienna <laughs> Philharmonic and Leonard Bernstein. Like, you are front and hard, yeah. Sarah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping it was like a Tupac CD or something and just surprise Oh, no, us. those are, you know, so this everything is, a, is, I don't have CDs anymore, you know. Yeah, it's a yeah. bootleg Spotify copy of... Apple music, so, right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so go so, ahead, okay. fire your question. So, Brooke, yes. what is the the happiest memory you have as a kid? Oh, uh, oh, um, hmm. There isn't any. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's tough. That's why you become a beauty queen, I guess, is a lot of angst. Um, I guess... That's a good question. I mean, I have fond memories at Punahou. I'm not going to lie. Like around the lily pond, you know, fifth, mm. sixth grade during um, during our recess, I used to get into popping battles. What? With what? um with Heath Hemmings. What? Um, oh my god. Under the monkey under the monkey bars um during recess in sixth grade. No, that's a good moment. Yeah, yeah. Me and Heath Hemmings. <laughs> I had no idea that his dad was alive? like Fred Hemmings. Oh, that Hemmings. Oh yeah. Ah, yeah. Dad, you know, I had no idea, but he was like, Oh, come on, Holly Boy, what what? You want a challenge? Let's challenge. <laughs> from Pearl City. I'm like street like that. Nice. So, yeah. That's a good one. Those are good memories. Nice. Good memories. All right. Yeah. That's a good memory. Yeah. Okay, so Lanai, what is the most memorable meal you've ever had? Oh, that's hard. Oh, that is a good one. That's hard for that's you. That's a very good question. You eat a lot um, of food. I do. I was, there's probably like five, but I'll just name one of them. I was mm. in Tokyo with Kunishki. Mm. Kunishki, the, the sumo names. wrestler. I drop yeah, names yeah, all yeah. the time. Drop the names. And we go to, I, it's the first time I've been there. We fly into Fukuoka. We get into this restaurant and this little lady in a kimono comes out and meet, greets us in the van. And then she takes us into this private room and there's Kunishki sitting. And it's a long table and there's four of us. Wow. And, and there's a big like cooking thing in front of you, like a pot. And everyone had their own. And oh, it wow. wasn't shabu shabu. Yeah, yeah. It was like a frying thing, right? Yeah. And each person had their own waitress. And the waitress oh. came out in a kimono with another person with a cart. Mm. And everything was alive. What? Everything on there was what? alive. And they cooked it in front of you. Yeah. What? And I was blown away because I was only maybe 22, 23 years old. I just started getting into eating and food and food shows. And so uh, I'm sitting life, there and eating right? there. And Alan Allen was there, oh, the okay. Olympic volleyball yeah, player, because yeah, yeah, yeah. that was his cousin. And we were done eating. Names. And they brought out all these plates, like plates that you eat on. And he after you were pal with the other stuff. After we were no pl empty plates, oh, got like it. maybe fifty plates, and he autographed all of them for the for the oh, wow. for the workers. Konishki? Yeah, yeah Konishki. That's so cool. And as he was autographing them, they brought out the check, and I said, "I got this." Because it was my first time in Japan, and I wanted though. to do something nice, and he Yikes. flew us in to, to come and watch his, him wrestle. So mm -hmm. I grabbed the check, and Alan goes, I'll split it with you, <laughs> right? So we opened the check. <laughs> first of all, it's in yen, so there's that. It was $1,000 a head. What? Oh, a head? Yes. Ooh. Do you count two for Konishki? I didn't or? even, I, didn't, I was 24 years old. I didn't even have, have $4,000 in my my on my card i don't think <laughs> oh my god that is <laughs> so you're washing all those dishes that Konishki no, had signed so Konishki, he played it off and he was laughing because he's watching us and he's signing these plates and, yeah, he, he's, and like, he's looking at us and he's, he's watching like, and, we, and he goes what too much <laughs> and he goes give me that you guys are my guest Right, and he, and he, the that waitress grabs it from him, and, and guys, we ended up not paying for it. You guys thought you were a Casey drive in. Yeah. <laughs> so that whole experience was probably one of the best, and that made the story just made it, you know, wow. even better. But you're lucky, Kunishi. One of my great meals. A baller and would pick yeah. it up because most people were like, sure, pay for it. I then. actually think he didn't pay for it. Because okay. he signed all those really? plates. Oh, those plates. I think paid they, for it. yeah, I think they took care of it. Because um, wherever we went, people were like, 
people just yeah. threw food. We didn't order anything. Put yeah. it that way. Yeah, yeah. Just food would, would come just and fly come. Off like not shelves. enough food for twenty people, and it'd be three of us or four of us. Right. You know. Well, because and you'd eat all of it. We try. Was well, Konichi's yeah. like <laughs> seven people? So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, that's funny. That, Thank you so much for joining us. I learned so much from you. Thanks for coming oh, thanks on for the show. Me. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm Sarah. really, I'm really glad that uh, Brooke uh, booked you. Um, because um, I'm a music guy. I love music. He's I wish a I could play. Player. Yeah, you have a dance player. Yeah, and, and yeah. I definitely will hit you up when I come to San Francisco. Yeah, now you Let guys have know, made please. friends. Yeah. You're like Wonder Twins. Yeah. I made this I happen. <laughs> I'm taking credit for this, Hawaii. You should take credit. I'm yes, taking yeah. credit for when, this. When you come home, please let us know so we can have lunch or something. Take you to an, yeah, one of our absolutely. favorite. Maybe take you to Liliha Bakery. <laughs> I miss that too. So much food I miss from home. Yeah, but we're going to send you a nice yeah. package, a care package. Okay. And Enjoy Sarah, snacks on Congratulations on everything. I know I just met you, but I feel so proud to know you Aww. and how you Aww, and and how you represent Hawaii. Represent and make sure make sure we get one of our t-shirts to her too. Okay. We'll yes, get you one please. of our it's a Hawaii t-shirt. And it's Hawaii nice thing. and black but colorful so you can wear it at rehearsals. We did a collaboration when you go, when yeah. you go back to With you know performing. Yeah. yeah. That's right. But you take care, okay? You too. Thanks for having me. Thanks for Good coming you. on. You take care. Aloha. Right. Sarah Hicks, Stay ladies healthy. and gentlemen. It's a Hawaii thing.